now that we understand uh, the agents, the peers, the client server relationship, the message, net, let's now look at uh, what interesting uh, process takes place in the form of an algorithm uh, using interesting uh, lookup tables which are used in diameter protocol. Uh, so, the routing of diameter messages is actually well defined in the uh, diameter standard document. Um, the information uh, which is used for uh, consulting in the routing table is on the basis of the application ID uh, that is definitely going to be diameter in this case and then the destination host uh, application value pair it actually means that the uh, depending upon the uh, source destination and other preferences a lookup will be made and that particular agent will be consulted and appropriate diameter server would be contacted uh, so there are essentially two kinds of tables the first one is known as the peer table uh, it maintains the identity of uh, uh, each peer and keeps the updated list of all its neighbors of that peer um, which is connected to this particular peer uh, the information about the uh, peers uh, available on this particular table is uh, the current state of the peer whether it is uh, up or down uh, or if it is uh, not functioning at the moment then uh, is the peer information statically um, provided in the table or it, it is dynamically being updated using some uh, uh, watchdog mechanism uh, then these peer entities uh, are actually uh, time bound so uh, is the peer uh, discovery going to take place dynamically and in that case uh, a cache based soft timer mechanism can be implemented and uh, uh, what is going to be the transport mechanism and if it is going to Im incorporate security uh, between two peers so this kind of peer table is important to discover the relationship of a peer with its neighbors uh, then we have uh, the routing table uh, which is used for the message to travel from the client to the server um, this is uh, similar to the uh, lookup uh, table which is maintained uh, in IP routers. Uh, so the re realm entries uh, are actually the ones which are compared against the destination application value pair. Uh, so the first thing is actually the realm name that is uh, what domain from which the request is coming to it from and where it is going to. So it is primarily uh, a key which is maintained between uh, the um, sender and destination as the primary key it is the most important thing then the next important thing is which application is being used again this is going to be consulted after the realm name has been verified that is if the domains actually are discovered then uh, the uh, application id or the diameter protocol is verified then what action has to be taken if it is going to be a local action or it is going to be a redirection action and then which server is eventually going to be contacted the server identifier as the particular IP address or the URL or the fully qualified domain name so with all this information let's look at the overall routing algorithm which takes place if the destination host APV is equal to the local identity it means this is a local phenomenon and it does not need to be sent to or another domain or if it is peer entity then this has to be sent from one relay agent to the other or one proxy agent to the relay agent or vice versa or if it is not working it means that it's not a local phenomenon and there's no peer to which it can be forwarded so in that case uh, the message is delivered with an error code back to the sender uh, 